ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Finding Asheville podcast with Nathan Miller. What's art for? Uh, who's it for now? If it's not for you, um, it's for the art. It's yeah. for uh, the people that care. Yeah. It's for um, the people that have given a shit enough to even like help me get here. It's for the, I think the um, mystery of where is this taking me? Because yeah, every time I think that, oh wow, well, that was awesome. I'm never gonna top that experience. And next thing you know, next year comes around, and a few other things come along that are. Mm -hmm. deeper you know deeper levels of it um i just think that i'm really even even though it's like really hard and it's um i think it's more difficult now in a lot of ways than it ever has been and um it's easier and it's more difficult at the same time honestly than it ever has been yeah um i think that uh just the i don't know i mean i i have this like tangible feeling nowadays whether i've delusionally tricked myself into this or not um, that I feel like I'm up against a certain kind of edge mm -hmm. and I'm really um, interested to know what happens when I fall over that edge and kind of fall through, Yeah. Um, you know, where, where that leads me, you know, mm -hmm. if it leads me into obscurity and oblivion, oblivion and I'm fucking, you know, washing dishes around Asheville for the rest of my life, so be it, at least I had a period of time where I did something like this that I can at least, you know, dude, like I said, like, I, I came from dirtbag West Virginia. Yeah. So I feel like at this point, everything that I've, anything on top of this is icing. Mm -hmm. um, and I just want to see where it leads, you know, it keeps leading me to more and more, um, significant, um, meaningful experiences. So, um, and, and I've just seen my art has been able to, I've been lucky and blessed to see it connect with people in enough different capacities now that that's, that's meaningful to me, you know, yeah. to see it reach different kinds of people in different kinds of ways. It's mm -hmm. kind of, um, it's like irreplaceable. Yeah. Well, about that dishwasher comment, um, yeah, yeah. I invite everybody on this show with the presumption of the Asheville curse, which says everybody moves here and they have all these goals and ambitions. And then once they get here, they find the job market sucks. So uh, they take a lame job as manager of Office Max right. so they can stay here. Yeah. But all those goals and ambitions die. Yeah. Do you think there's anything to the Asheville curse? I mean, I think that that's probably a scenario that happens in a lot of places anyway. Yeah, it's just the difference is, is that depending on what you're getting into, there might not be as many opportunities around here for what it is that you're trying to do outside of that office max. I think that if you're moving here for the sake of becoming a professional musician or artist, um, you're probably a little delusional. Um, yeah, just because of the fact that there are a lot of people making art here and making music here does not mean that this is a place for you to make a career out of that from. Yeah, I think that if you are living here and that is your goal, then you need to um, probably start to really think about a few things, which one of those things probably has to be like, all right, well, if you're going to live here and that's your decision, how are you going to get yourself outside of here? Because mm -hmm. that's the only way you're going to survive. Um, you know, there's only a few artists right now in this town that are getting any kind of work off of this town. And yeah. that has increased over the last few years. I do see more and more creative opportunities for artists around here and people to have that. But, um, I think that probably what I'll say to people that make that decision to move here is maybe you need to, um, reconsider moving here. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I, I love this place, man. Um, yeah. But dude, it is a fight for me to live here. Yeah. Um, on a lot of levels, mm -hmm. like it is not easy for me to live here. It's mm -hmm. easy for me to make work here. Yeah. It is hard as hell for me to live here. Mm -hmm. Um, but I'm, I'm a very stubborn person. And yeah. on top of that, I feel like I have, um, put enough of myself into Asheville that if I have a couple of hard years with Asheville, then I'm going to fucking work through those hard years and get back to the good years again. Yeah. Um, because I'm not giving up on this damn place. Mm -hmm. um, Cause I feel like just as much as um, I've been responsible for what's happened with my art career, Asheville has been responsible for what's happened with my art career. Mm -hmm. So um, I feel indebted to this place. And also like everyone complaining about the changes and the growth and the tourists and like, well then shut the fuck up and get involved and do something about shaping it while this is happening. Yeah. Because you're going to be complaining for fucking five to eight years, and then five to eight years from now, you would have had no role whatsoever, made no attempt whatsoever to shape that, and yeah. all you did was bitch about the direction it was going in while it was going in the bad direction that you didn't want to go in. Yeah. You know, so that's the other thing I feel about, too, is that I've never lived in a place where I felt like I actually had a direct impact in some way on 
you know, the community. Um, mm -hmm. And I feel like I get small opportunities here that have impact on the creative community throughout the year. Mm -hmm. And um, those things are meaningful to me. 